Everyone has the right to quality education. Yet 75 million children and youth in crisis and displacement situations do not receive the schooling they need. One in four school-aged children live in crisis-affected countries. Despite this, education only receives between 2 and 4% of humanitarian aid. If we are to achieve Sustainable Development Goal 4, which ensures inclusive and equitable quality education for all, we need to do more to address Education in Emergencies EIE, and protracted crises. One of the key challenges facing education in crisis-affected countries is the lack of accurate, reliable and timely data needed to drive effective education responses. National Data Systems EMIS, often lack the ability to adapt to the changing nature of emergencies and crises, particularly those involving the displacement of children. This creates gaps, hampering the ability of national and local governments to effectively prepare, plan for and respond to crises. What's more, a lack of data on migrant and displaced populations can hamper countries' efforts to include these vulnerable groups in education systems. To respond to these gaps, humanitarian data systems are often put in place. In many cases, these systems collect data that varies from national EMIS. Rather than strengthening them, this results in unharmonized parallel systems that tend to exist outside of national data structures. What can we do to change things? UNESCO, in partnership with NORCAP and supported by Education Cannot Wait and the Swedish International Development Cooperation Agency, is working to strengthen data systems in emergencies and crises. We are bringing together partners, government and stakeholders from across the humanitarian and development community to address the challenges facing education in emergencies, EIE, and Education Management Information Systems, EMIS. The objectives of the initiative are to 1. Strengthen national information systems, EMIS. 2. Bridge national systems with humanitarian data systems. Since 2019, we have conducted studies in six conflict-afflicted countries, analysing the challenges facing EMIS and EIE data, as well as the gap between national information systems and data collected by humanitarian partners. With education systems across the world under growing threat from conflict, disasters, pandemics and other crises, it's critical that we understand the complex and changing needs of learners, teachers, education institutions and communities so we can effectively respond to them. Unlocking the power of education for all requires the development of education systems that are more resilient, inclusive and responsive in the face of crises. With better systems, we can reach the furthest first, leaving no one behind as we pursue inclusive, equitable and quality education for all.